Hey everyone, and so in this video, I'm going to show you how to debug and fix a broken website where you may have uploaded or even just locally something is going wrong with it. So here we have a website, but clearly it, it's not looking how it should do. Maybe the CSS is, is, is broken, but something else is missing. This is actually how it should look. Um, so we have a very nice kind of layout and style here. So Chrome has a very useful tool that a lot of people may not be aware of and it's the inspection tool to open it is very simple you just need to right click on the page and click inspect this will open a window over here and it looks a bit daunting but you just need to look at specific information to help you and console is the one of the first points of reference so if you click on the console you can basically see any errors that may be around with the page. So here, for example, you're getting a 404, which means not found for your CSS file, main.css. Um, but more specifically, we can also look at the network panel. And this panel shows you what additional files and assets are loaded, like images, when your page is loading. So. The important thing is this needs to be run when the page is loading. So we have it open now and you just need to click the refresh button. And as you refresh it, you'll basically see that there are these files which are loading, which is great. But here we see an X marked one and the status 404. So we can also just sort by that. So it can't find this main that CSS file. And if we look at it, it's basically trying to find it in this directory. So this is the URL, broken.tiny.co, but then it's looking for it in the folder called assets, CSS, and main.css. Now, if we open the directory, which actually has the files, and go into it, let's look for the files. Let's go into assets, let's go into CSS, and here we can see that uh, main.css is not actually there. Um, let me look through the other folders and you'll see that it's in the styles folder instead. So it's looking in the wrong directory for it. So to fix this, we just need to copy this over to the CSS uh, folder. And then we can hopefully just re-upload it. So I'm just going to compress it. And we're using a tool called tiny.host over here. So we can update it very easily um, and then upload a zip file like this. So this will take a couple of seconds and let's have a look at it now. So let's refresh it once more and oh, cool. That's great. So we have um, a CSS file, which is found. And if you look at uh, main.css, you can also filter here. Um, it's now 200, which means it's shown. So if we open this again once more, there's now another image actually, which is missing. So BG JPEG. Um, and again, let's use the same technique to debug it. It's if we click on it, it's looking for the image in the, the images folder and BG.jpg. So let's open this directory again, go into it. Let's click on images and okay, cool. So we have the BG image here. But the problem is there's a space here just between the two. So this is a very specific um, case, which is also can be hard to catch. But essentially your code is searching for a file name which doesn't exist. So it's looking for bg.jpg, but you have bg space.jpg. So it's really important to make these file names exact. Even the case matters. So if this was capital BG, it may not find it. So make sure it's all lowercase um, and exactly the, the same characters as what is referenced. So to fix this, we're going to just rename it and delete this. And then let's try this once more. Um, I'll move this to trash and then I'll compress this once again. And then we'll head over to tiny host. Um, click update and update the zip file with our assets. And let's view the site once more. And here we go. So now there's this cool, you know, brownish background, which is there, which was not here in this one. 
and we can again just you know be sure it looks the same we can compare the two and it looks identical and if you want you know once more you can inspect it um, click on network and again refresh it to view all the assets and if you you know filter and the range number here you see there's no 404 so everything is found and if you look at the console there are no errors currently shown in the console so this is a really useful tool when you're debugging website if anything is missing on your website or it doesn't look correct have a look at the console and net network network tab uh, and uh, you can just really click inspect on any, on any website and you'll find this so hope that's useful remember to like and subscribe if you like this video for a lot more tips and also check out tiny host which is a very simple solution to hosting your project online thanks